Hi, this is Justin from Blue October, and you're watching The Q on YouTube. Kelly Q, it is El Paso's Best Rock and Buenos Huevos. Good Thursday afternoon to you. How are we doing? Ronson hanging with you. And I told you, he was coming in, and I am honored to have Justin here from Blue October. Justin, how are you today, my I'm friend? I'm doing great, man. You're looking really good. Oh, thank you. You know what? I, I, I saw you like three or four years ago here when you were at Sequoia Entertainment. Ooh. Ooh. And that, that smile wasn't there three or four years ago. Oh, no, sir. It Life has taken a big change for you. Yes, sir, it has. Yes. Yeah. For, for better, I'm guessing. Oh, yeah. Much better. Yeah, your heart's not black anymore? Yeah, my heart's not black anymore, and I don't look pale and green like the sick sick guy. You know what I'm and, and is that you've just changed your life? I mean, what you, you got married? Got married, got healthy, and started acting like a grown-up like man. Human, oh, like a grown-up. I love that. Like a man. Like a man. <laughs> I, I try. Yeah, yeah. Or a you, father. You, you know? got yeah. You also, you're a dad too. Yeah, so. dad. Yeah, you got to let it run a little bit sometimes. But you yeah. but now you know when to pull it back in. I figured at 36, you know, that was a good time to go. You know, yeah. maybe you shouldn't be doing <laughs> no. those things as much. As maybe you were maybe the parents were right back yeah. then. When uh, or when maybe we the doing. wife is right. Yeah, you know? <laughs> wife's always right. <laughs> yes, dear is what I've learned. <laughs> That's the name of your next song. Yeah, yes, dear is the name of the next album, bro. <laughs> album. <laughs> Every album. Well, it's good to see you, man. Like, you. like I said, it's good to see. You know, the, the big smile on your face. Because there's been some changes in your life. Yeah. I mean, definitely. Big time. Yeah. And Got it, sober. Yeah. And uh, wow. What, How, what, a, what a difference, huh? What a great life. Yeah, is, exactly. Know? I'm the kind of guy that can't just go to the bar and have a beer. No, no. People go like, hey, you want to go have a beer? And I'm like, are you stupid? Yeah, that's like, where we start, right? Like, really? <laughs> like, you're going to leave with that little bit? Yeah. Like, no, 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 no. Hmm. I'll be shutting down that place. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. And then, and then as I'm, it shuts down, I look for somebody I, to go to their house and drink hey, their... Hey! You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then stop somewhere along the way. You know? Right. Somewhere we won't talk about. Right. You know? Yeah, I've been there. So. I think I've seen you there at, yeah. that, at that place. Yeah, I think you have. <laughs> Let me go and apologize now. Yeah. No, never. You have to apologize for nothing. Uh. It's it's life. There's no yeah, apologies. It's life. You learn, and, and yeah. uh, I'm very, very grateful that I'm still touring and still making um, music that people like. You know? Right, right. Because once you get sober and you go make an album, woo! Yeah, yeah. That's all a sudden, little different. That's called work. That's when people put on their boots and go to work. Right, right. I was like, this is work. And that's not supposed to be music. What do you mean I can't open a bottle of wine and... <laughs> And some other things, and, yeah. Uh, and then write a song. Yes, in, in thirty think seconds. About it? Yeah, exactly. It's got to make sense. I got to work. And there's a chorus. Is that what that was? <laughs> and, a, and it's got to stay under four minutes. What? Uh, no, it's not happening. Yeah. yeah. So, but but uh, it did good. I'm very grateful and blessed that it came out the way it did, and that here we are coming up on 19 years of doing this band. Wow. And, and I'm healthiest I've ever been. I'm right. happiest I've ever been. And the most. Um, in control of my life. Right, you know, right. Which is great. Well, I don't have a big label anymore. I run the label now. You, so that's what I thought. You run it yourself. And it's just so nice. So you, you know? do what you want to do. Yeah. You're calling your own shots finally. And you, instead of spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on videos, you spend like three grand on one. <laughs> do it in your garage. You <laughs> right. Know what I'm I, I, it just, just make sure your garage has fluffy clouds. Exactly. I'm loving your attitude. I really do. <laughs> I really love your attitude. Because I'm going to go back just a little bit. Uh, just a, a quick story. I'm sure you heard the story a million times. Your song, Hate Me. Yeah. Now, when my mom passed, that song hadn't been out yet. Right. And and I went, I, just before she died, I, I got made it back to Minneapolis. Right. And got there. And, but what do you say? I didn't, you know what? I didn't know what to say. Yeah. Your damn song came out. This is a true story. The next day when we played it here, the next day, I got on a plane, flew to Minneapolis, went to her graveyard, and played that song. Are you serious? Yes, because that's what I've always wanted to say. Wow. That's what needed to be effing said. And you had the words for me at that time. So I, I'm not sure I, she probably heard that story a million times. No, nope, but never that, heard that story oh, before. oh no, I went straight to the graveyard and, and played it because that was the words that I wanted to say. But I, you just can't when when she's passing on. That's 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 a very touching story. So, well, no, so I want to thank you personally because oh, you man. got the words for me that I didn't have. Thank you. You're that's, very you're very welcome. Right. Okay, now now that the tears, let me wipe my tears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now okay, that the tears are gone. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Have a man hug. <laughs> <laughs> That guy very, went. very nice. So let's let's get into new, your new stuff. Yeah. Sway. Mm -hmm. Swag, I call it. Sway. Yeah. Yeah. It's, so it's, tell, tell me about it. You know, I, I, there was one rule going into the writing of this album. And it right. Was that not one song can be about how sad Justin is or how bad Justin's feeling. That was the rule. Because people, I'm sorry, you know, music that's sad is cool, but people only want to watch you circle a drain for so long before they finally go, dude. 
shut up. Yes. Stop whining. Very I've much seen so. Many artists go down that road where you're just like, oh God. Yep. I can't do that. I hate to say this, but when you say, you know what, just die. Yeah. Just, just go ahead. Just go ahead and get just it over it. with. Just do it. Just do yeah. it. Record it. Maybe Record yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? But exactly. But that was to that point, you know, uh, gone through divorce, custody battles, stuff like that, and then. When all that stuff went downhill, just started abusing everything around me and self-medicating. Right. Which was the opposite of when Hate Me came out. You right. Know, I thought I'd clean that stuff I up. I thought you did. Yeah, definitely. And, man, it got bad. Oh, you know, it went worse. It got bad. I oh. Mean, it got so bad that the beautiful woman that I'm with now was just like, you know, you, you, you say you're all that. You know, right. You, you, you don't think your poop stinks. You know? Right. You're, you're a lead singer in a band but you've been lying to all these people saying you're sober now for three whole months you're a hypocrite she's like wow. you get some help or this baby in my belly that you gave me right is never coming anywhere near you even though you just went to through court and all that stuff to fight for your other daughter right like you're gonna be doing the same thing with me so man up or i'm out that is wild first woman or anybody that ever said that to me and i that one thing I learned was life's not about me, man. No, it's gonna go on when it, I die. You damn right. You it know? definitely, it definitely is. They might go, oh, that was he's a cool guy, but yeah. that's about it. It's like a fart in the wind. It's you like smell it as it goes wind. by. Yeah, smell it as it goes by. Yeah. Hot and whatever. <laughs> you know? And that, oh, and yeah. he makes a noise too. Yeah. I, I got like all that. kinds of samples, buddy. Well, oh. I like I said, I'm just so glad to see you with a smile because it's, you, you deserve it. You, you. you deserve to be a one happy son of a bitch, and I'm glad to see you are. Thank you very much. You're man. very welcome. And now tonight. You're at Tricky Falls. Yes. Yep. Awesome club. Never been You've there. You've never before. been there, no, because you were at Score Entertainment Center. That was three or four or five years ago. Yeah. <sighs> I remember that. You're gonna, yeah, you're gonna love to, you're gonna love Tricky Falls. It's yeah. just a everybody that works there is really cool. Everybody is yep. like that works there and obviously knows what bands are because we got there and everybody had their stuff together. Everybody was really suave. Ben, my boy over here yep. was great. Uh there's coffee right around the corner. Yeah, right there. You got a pizza place right next door. There's a Starbucks. Yeah, you got I'm every, everything you need. 